Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Okay, today we uh, learned the sum of uh, hardware resources uh, need uh, for internet connection. That is the chapter number two, uh, which we discussed earlier a little bit. And uh, in this lecture, we will discuss uh, a sum of uh, hardware resources for internet connection. The first resource we need is a computer. Uh, maybe your uh, uh, laptop notebook or whatever uh, maybe your mobile phone uh, that is the thing we will discuss in that chapter first and uh, then we move uh, towards the modem uh, a very important when discussing the internet and then we have uh, some parts available uh, for example we have a fiber cable we have a copper cable available uh, we have uh, some of the wireless resources also available for internet uh, connectivity and then we have uh, some of our devices uh, uh, also included uh, the switches uh, routers uh, the internet service provider so uh, one by one we discuss these ideas okay uh, next uh, okay a modem uh, to understand the model we have to discuss there are two different type of a uh, signaling first the first uh, type of a signal is an analog signal if uh, we check uh, the example of an analog signal just like the audio I am producing here so that is the, the uh, one form of a analog signal and um, if we discuss a digital signal that is the, uh, the, uh, these are the signal uh, needed for your computer operation your computer your machines uh, mobile phone every electronics component uh, are working on our digital signal but uh, the humans are producing the analog signal and analog signal is also good for a uh, uh, longer distance transmission if we want to travel a uh, signal from um, for longer distances then we prefer an uh, analog signal and at the receiving end we convert these analog signal into a digital signal because all the equipments are working on a uh, digital level so it's a device uh, which perform a conversion from an analog signal towards a, a digital signal. So here uh, we see uh, one of example here. Uh, in this example, we have a modem available, and a computer here at a location A is producing a sum of a digital signal. And then we have our one device which convert this digital signal for a longer distance transmission. So here we have a telephone network. So that is a longer distance transmission. So we need a conversion from uh, a digital to analog signal. So we have a modem here. And then after the conversion, converting into an analog signal, the transmission is done through a uh, maybe a fiber cable maybe a copper cable and then on the receiving end you see here again a uh, uh, a to d conversion is available here the analog to digital conversion and again we need a one modem here and then the digital signal comes at your uh, desktop computer or mobile phone whatever you are using so this is a, a device which do this two types of operation the one is a digital to analog conversion the second is a analog uh, to digital conversion so and that is the reason uh, uh, this device is called a modem because it's perform a two operation the first is a modulation that is a digital to analog conversion the second is a, a demodulation which is a analog to digital conversion and if we combine the first two words of uh, uh, a modulation and the uh, first three words of a demodulation so that becomes a modem that is a, a way of representing the conversion the modulation and demodulation there's just uh, two words from a uh, modulation and just the three first three words from a, a demodulation uh, here is the uh, another example in which we learn how to connect the modem with the system or computer so in this uh, uh, picture this is uh, one of a uh, uh, representation of a 
telephone line system so we have a one bar coming at your home and that is our phone like phone line wall check available a one wire is coming at your home and that one wire is separated by using a separator into a uh, two parts one part is goes towards the modem uh, and then modem uh, do doing a a to d conversion and then the signal moves towards your computer by using a one of our ethernet cable so that is a modem here which performing a a to d conversion and then second part of a wire is goes uh, towards your phone uh, through our uh, one of a filter here uh, why we need a filter because uh, the signal coming here is uh, consisting of uh, three type of a signal uh, signaling the audio video and data signal is coming at your home so uh, some of our data signal moves towards your computer the remaining audio signals uh, is moves towards the phone by using a filter so filter is just a, a one device that filter out the contents the required contents and in this case the required contents uh, uh, for a telephone is a audio signal uh, we don't need a data signal for your phone so that is the reason so that is a separating device that is a just a filtering out the content here